Hey loves, I hope everybody's having a good day. Your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. And say something this morning, I just came from the eye doctor and was praying last night that when I went to the eye doctor, I wouldn't have glaucoma because uh, for everybody in the family, um, you'll already be aware of this, that obviously our queen has glaucoma, um, cataracts, and you know, even has like vision loss with her peripheral vision. And so last night, as I was um, making dinner for her and caring for her, uh, she was, you know, just saying, good luck at your eye doctor's appointment. And then later when I call, she's like, and I just really hope you don't have glaucoma as well. And I was thinking about that and literally praying about it last night. And then this morning, you know, I almost prayed for it again. Like, please, God, don't let me have glaucoma. You know, I know at some point it may come. Um, I'm 47. It's a possibility. But, you know, right now I'm hoping that I never get it. But if I do, maybe 60s, 70s, because obviously it can rob you of your vision and, and so forth. Um, and this morning I thought about praying about it again and I was like, okay, what is it? You think God didn't hear you last night when you prayed about it? I mean, of course he's God, he heard you. So, you know, I, and then I got here and I was looking at that and I was like, you know, that is so awesome. And exactly what I was thinking about as I was driving to my eye doctor's appointment, you know, that your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. So yes, I'm a Christian, I'm praying all the time. You know, I'm always talking to him about things. I've watched him work so many miracles, but um, I just thought, you know, that's great to share because um, sometimes we forget uh, that God already knows what we need. He knows what we're thinking. So obviously, you know, if you pray for something, you certainly don't have to repeat the prayer. Um, you know, he's, and the Bible even says something about repetition of, you know, you, that you don't have to repeat prayers and that you really shouldn't. You know, he knows if you've asked him, you just have to have that ultimate faith. And that's another Bible verse, which I'll have to look up at some point that talks about um, having faith as a grain of mustard seed. And if you say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, it shall move. And literally, um, you know, all that we've been um, all the miracles we've been watching God work with mom and with, um, her hearing last year, her losing the hearing. And then I was just like praying and like, please God, let the hearing, let her hearing return. And it did. But I literally, when I began to pray that I would say, I know this is going to happen. Like I have the faith. I'm not going to doubt it. You know, this is God is God. He created us and anything that you need, he can hear you. So I just wanted to sort of bring those words of inspiration this morning, like um, anybody out there, you know, for uh, all of the believers, just know that God is real and that he hears you. And I don't have glaucoma. Um, the eye doctor said my eyes look good. I'm still wearing contacts. I mean, I have, you know, <laughs> poor vision, but I, but, uh, I don't have glaucoma, which is such a blessing. Um, and she was saying, you know, so at some point, you know, in your 50s, um, and beyond, you know, then we'll really start to, you know, get more into um, testing for it and everything. Because of course, you know, if something affects somebody else, it can affect you at a certain point. But it's just, you know, just about belief, you guys. I just want you to really understand that, you know, there's so much hope. There's so much hope through God, hope, hope through Jesus. And there's so much, you know, um, beautiful things in this world that I just want you to, you know, in this world of negativity and so much darkness, you know, that there is you know, a great deal of hope. I'm going to do a lot more of these talking about faith and miracles and things I've seen and experienced. And so this is so spur of the moment, but anyways, love you guys. God bless. See you soon. Bye.